Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, today guys, I have received a request. I had a very, very uh, good, I'm fucking a bit broke, very brokers pocus. And Samuel, Samuel sent me some money and he said, hey, saw you on Telegram. Uh, keep up the good work. Please do an update on the Archie Luxury weight loss diet. And I got to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I haven't actually covered my latest attempt at my diet on YouTube. And I seem to, every time I start a diet and I publicize it highly on YouTube, it fucking goes to shit. I don't, I don't know what to say. It fucking goes to shit. Um... Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is a, it is a, it is a problem. It is a problem. So I suppose the big thing is, the big thing is, is that um, what I want to do is I want to talk about my Archie Luxury Weight Loss Diet, the latest attempt. And I got to tell you, I, I have a lot of fucking weaknesses. I do have a lot of weaknesses. I... I'm addicted to fucking sugar. I'm somebody who uh, I've had family member. My son has been depressed and suicidal. I'll take him shopping at Aldi and I'll grab a fucking a bag of licorice, a bag of nuts, and I'll fucking eat the licorice or chocolates. I'll eat them because I, I fucking want it up. I just feel so fucking depressed. So... Uh, and another thing is I said to my ex-wife the other day, I said, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm addicted to sugar. I said, you offer me a beer, a scotch or a, a, a wine or an ice cream. Fuck it. Every time I'll take the ice cream. And I, I, I think with my uh, addiction to sugar there, I, I have to fucking man up and admit I got a serious fucking problem. I'm also, I'm working from home. I'm working from home. So, so normally I used to do, I mean, in the day or in the course of your, your average um, day, you'd, you'd take, you'd walk to the bus stop, you'd take the bus, you'd walk to the station from the bus, uh, then you'd get off the station, you'd walk, you know, you, you're doing a lot of Lot of I, I just fucking roll out of bed, brush my teeth, walk five meters into the studio and start filming and presto, here we go. So that's not really <clears throat> good for you either. So necessity was important. Uh, and also when I got the kids, sometimes when I got the kids, they want a snack. I mean, these are young, 12, 13, 14 year old guys. If, if they want a snack, you go and buy them. It's okay. They do all this running at school. They do all this shit. They're very, you know, they're always doing things. It's okay for them to have a bag of chips, but not for good old Archie. Because I don't fucking do anything. I just put the fucking, the killer jewels on. So, I've really had some fucking difficult problems. I've attempted a few times. It's funny, you know, after you've had a huge meal and you're bloated, you think, oh, it's going to be easy. I'm going to do this diet. I'll just limit my food. Oh, it's easy. Well, fuck me, Dad. When you're hungry, oh, fuck is it hard. It really is hard. It's hard. And um, so so what I've decided to do for me, you got to work out what works for you. Different things work for different people. Basically, it, it weight loss, you have got two things you need to do. You need to burn calories i.e do more exercise and you need to secondly you need to lessen the calorie intake okay so how do you do this well it's up to you you've got to work out the balance but you know 
for me, uh, what I've decided to do is, uh, it's a bit unorthodox. <clears throat> I'll tell you some rules that I've implemented and we'll see if it fucking works. I basically have cut out all alcohol, uh, all chocolate, candy, ice cream. I've cut it out. Completely gonski. Even with my with my coffee or tea, no sugar. I I I found myself. I was having four or five cups of tea or coffee in the day, purely to have the fucking sugar. Okay, so I'm a cheater. <laughs> I'm a fucking cheater. I cheat. So now no fucking sugar at all. So what I do is I don't eat anything until three or four o'clock basically look 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 i try to aim for four but uh, from three i can have a small snack and uh i admit my choice of snack may not be best i have a hand well i have half a can a container of nuts okay i love macadamias i love uh pecans I love cashews, okay? That's that's my poison, okay? Yes, 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 that's my poison. Then I try and have one meal, okay? And I admit I'm probably eating the portions, trying to work on that. But yeah, that's that's what I'm 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 working on. The general the rules are I can have two off days a week. So two days I can have lunch as well as my my four o'clock after four o'clock feed and this can be weekend or for me every day because i work for myself every day is the weekend uh any days i pick so i sometimes have people who take me to lunch i don't want to forego that free food you know that's free free so that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing there i'm trying to do a bit of exercise there i've um I've even got a little sports watch, a Casio, just to wear if I'm going around the block. I'll take off my my horology piece, put on a shitter, a shitter, put on a shitter, and off we go. Yeah, so that is, that's what I've been working on. Is it easy? No, it's fucking hard. It's very hard. It's fucking hard. Uh, I went, my son had a party, a birthday party, so I, I, I had some ice cream. I paid fucking 45 bucks for a fucking Baskin Robbins ice cream cake. I was going to fucking make sure I had a bit of it. And that was nice. Um, and, and at his party, he had fucking, I, I fell in love with some, some chips. He had, uh, premium brand chips. They were, uh, chive and sour cream, you know, very, just fucking they weren't pringles but the same sort of quality they were a premium chip not just a fucking cheap and nasty home brand chip um yeah i fucking they, they were fucking delicious and uh, this week i tell you the sins i've committed so i took my son pizza hut on tuesday two for one deal 12.95 get two pizzas so we got a large pepperoni, sorry, large pepperoni, thin and crispy, and a large super supreme minus anchovies minus pineapple. Ah, fuck, it was delicious. Fuck, it was delicious. Absolutely fucking delicious. I got to tell you, it was fucking delicious. Fucking delicious. Um, look, I, I don't have a problem. The wine, I, I'm happy to stay away from wine. I love a good wine, but... That's okay. Beer, ah, oh, that's okay too. I'm happy to stay away from the beer. I do like a good scotch. I do like a good scotch. So once or twice a week, I'll have a nice big serve of scotch. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm. I'm sort of doing. I gotta fucking do something because I'm fucking overweight, morbidly obese, overweight. Morbidly obese. I gotta fucking lose thirty kilos, uh, and I, I'm really trying. It's not a diet as such. This is a lifestyle change because I want to fucking live longer than fucking fifty. I want to live a bit longer. I fucking want to 
enjoy life. I want to fuck it. I don't want to fucking be dead. I mean, um, and I've had sore back, sore joints. Well, it's because I'm fucking overweight. It's it's too much weight for my frame. Okay, I don't know what the fuck you can say about that. It's fucking physics. Okay, you gotta fuck. So it's 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 um. Uh, it's time. I think I, I I haven't really. I've put on weight, you know, gradually. Funny thing is, when I'm really really depressed, I tend to lose weight. I don't seem to have an appetite. But now, <laughs> now that I'm in my my later forties, fuck it. I I don't give a fuck. I just eat 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 eat. So when the CCC was after me, yeah, that first week I lost five k, five kilos. Then I fucking ballooned. I <laughs> fucking the comfort eating. Fuck me dead. It, it's, um, yeah. Thank you, Jackie Trad. Thank you, Jackie Trad, for getting the, the CCC onto me. I, um, yeah, that was, uh, very nice, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie Trad, for doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm the Pluto matter in the Courier Mail out of interest, Jackie. So I, I hope it's I hope it's worked out well for you, and I hope it's worked out well for me. So uh, I'm leaving a lot of comments in the Courier Mail. I am the the Pluto matter. I'm fucking angry at you. I'm angry at you, and I want to fucking um, put a pressure on you. So yeah, I'm the Pluto matter in the Courier Mail. So um, yeah, yeah, that's. In, in, in the comment section of the Courier Mail. So, uh, yeah, I hope it worked out well for you. Uh, it's a bit like that swap with um, uh, Italian car makers did a swap for Soviet steel. You know, I don't know who got the worst. The Italian car makers gave them intellectual property. That's why all the Soviet cars look like little Fiat's. And the, uh, the Soviets supplied them with um, second, third grade steel. So second rate design or third rate steel. I don't know who got the the. That's why all the Alpha, all the Italian cars from the seventies fucking dissolve faster than disparin. But uh, yeah, the same sort of deal, you know. But uh, yeah, so that's that's how the weight loss is going. Um, yeah, it's 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 it's. Uh, yeah, that's 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 kind of how it is. So guys. That's a bit of an update. I don't really publicize it as much because I seem to jinx it. When I do that, I jinx it. Uh, when did I start my weight loss quest? The 28th of October. There we go. What's that? So that's... It's only a fucking week. It feels like eternity. It feels like fucking eternity. Yeah, it feels like eternity. But it's only been a fucking week. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Okay, guys, that's the Archie Luxury Weight Loss Program update. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Tell your fucking friends. And if you've got a bit of spare cash, I'm fucking skint. Maybe send me a PayPal donation. ArchieLuxury72 at gmail.com. I would really appreciate it. I'm probably going to have to find a job next year. Okay, guys, see you later. <laughs> Oh. Hey Archie Luxury fans, if you're into luxury, then you gotta be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars what I've done my whole life. David SW. David SW. David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice. David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you. The greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet 
is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people to. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex? For all the hot models? There's only one person I would recommend. David SW. David SW. David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I got to be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW. David SW. David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good Good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW. David SW. David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one Good source, I would recommend David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David SW. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel.